the rudder is basically working. My horse rein lee boards are basically working. Giddy up, giddy up, giddy up. So now I've got to uh, make sure I've got my mast rigged the way I like it. So I'm going to get my backstay to the right height. So basically, I just need to tie it off at the point where it's all the way at the top there. So this is just a little bit of guess and check. Let's try right here. And then from there, I'll just move the knot forward and backward until I get it where I like it. Move it forward a little bit. Alright, we'll go with that. I'll put a pulley at the front to raise and lower. This is the halyard, the old halyard from my, my sailboat. It's a little green, probably needs to go through the laundry, but it's all right for now. Okay, and then I'd cleat this off. I'm just gonna tie it around here for a second. Uh, piece of line just to mark where this is. For a couple of things with the sail. Now I've got some ideas for the sale, but for the short term, I'm just gonna try out some of my camping tarps. My last sale was uh, 10 by 10 foot, you know, with the hypotenuse being about 14. So if I fold this sail in half, that's the same size. This is a 10 by 10 tarp. So I'll start with that, but I've got other ideas. No, this one's not going to work. It's too long. I'm going to need to, if I'm going to use this, I need another yard for it. This one might be right. I need to move the mast further back for that. I'll come back in a second. I need to alter my plans a little bit. My force day is too short to use these sails. So either I need to move my mast further back 
so I have a longer force day, or I'm going to need to use a different sail plan. Yeah, let me take a look at a couple things. So this is what I was trying to avoid. I've added the yard up the middle. It's kind of the same thing as I had on my first sail, the Latin sail. It's about 14, 15 foot tall. And I mean, it'll, it'll be okay, but it's just gonna make it a lot more top heavy because it's a lot more weight up high. But uh, I just don't have a, a tarp or anything the right size. So rather than taking the time to make a new sail, I'm just gonna use my green tarp with this. So let me try to rig up my tarp on it and uh, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna make it a lot more difficult to lift it up and down. So I might need to add more pulleys and mechanical advantage there at the, at the force day. But let's try this for the proof of concept. Doubling it up, the two halves, I'm just going to keep them together as if it's one, one triangle. Okay, we're still filming. All right, let me try to hoist this up with the, uh, the tarp on. By the way, this is the same one that I used in my other video, so it's a, a pretty big tarp, a pretty big sail. Let's see what that looks like. It actually looks pretty cool. Uh, oh, there we go. Wind blowing a little bit. See, that's just gonna be so, so top heavy. It's gonna be pushing over so far but it looks pretty awesome. Actually, okay, I don't mind it so much anymore. And I've eliminated the backstay because I have this conduit at the front here. I've tied the tarp straight onto the, the halyard or whatever you want to call this, rather than the pole itself because I want to eliminate any, a lot of the tension on the, um, the tarp here. So I'll have it Oh, actually, I don't have it there right now. I've got it under the tarp, but I want to put it going over, over the line here. So that way it's not pulling on the tarp itself, but it's pulling on the line. So I should redo that uh, first things first before I go out. And, and this conduit here, there's two different poles together. This is the same exact conduit I used on my original sail. Um, and there's just some wing nuts holding these two pieces together. Originally what I want to do with this is make a, a lug sail, but that would be a pretty huge lug sail. So maybe I'll just stick with my kind of lateen. I guess this is more of the Rom, Rami rig style. Super easy. Uh, we'll see if I like it or not, but this is what I have for now. I need to add a couple pulleys here. Give me some more mechanical advantage lifting it because it is very difficult now from this angle. I need some cleats here. This is my um, uphaul or my halyard, whatever you call it. So this thing, it needs to be held pretty securely in place. 
that's fine right now except it's over my my rudder line although it probably would still move yeah it still moves that's fine jammed. What's going on? Oh, did I pull it so far? Oh, I pulled it so far over that it's it's jammed on this side. Oh, interesting. So I found a d design flaw. Okay, that's better. Did I? No, it's still jammed. Oh, it's up here. This is a knot. I've caused a knot. Okay, what do I do to avoid that? All right, well, I gotta play with my wheel a little bit here, but um, <laughs> it's so dumb. This is gonna be hilarious. All right, good rudder works. Yeah, I've gotta clean out some of this stuff. I mean, basically it's it's functional i think what i would probably do is is not sail too downwind or or not have any beam reaches because i don't want this thing going way out if I, as long as i keep it between the two a-frames it'll be fine now i need to run my sheet back here probably somewhere from the back if i can okay if i keep it in pretty Pretty much, eh, maybe if I have a pulley back here. Oh yeah, look at that. The wind's at a great angle there. Yeah, and if you pull it in from this side, eh, kind of keep your shape a little bit. See, look, you can see it chafing on the pole there. So let's see, how can I avoid that? Well, I might just hit a little bit. That's not a big deal, but when I'm going, on a close, close haul or whatever it's called, then I'll be fine. That sail's just suspended. Okay. Yeah, let me get a pulley here that I can lead to the cockpit. All right, nice. So let's see. I'll need a couple of cleats for my dagger boards, my lead boards. I'll need a cleat for my main halyard. I'll need a cleat for my sheet. It'll be good. So basically, I guess what I've created here is just a jib or a large jib head sail. And uh, I don't know if my if my lee boards are actually in a good position. Now that I've modified it, they probably need to go further back, further aft. Using this setup, I actually probably could have the sail, the steering, and the lee board all here, all on one object. That'd be awesome if I just had one thing I could take off and on the boat. Hmm, now I got myself rethinking everything. Okay. <laughs>